part five of the build series is here now and if you guys remember the previous episode the part four we were installing the pistons because the crack is fully snug on the block yes we dropped in the four pistons here got it all good as you can see this is all in the previous episode you can check it out yes we got it all third one and the fourth one and it's all good now look at that yeah it's turning really good and of course we drop in the head complete the rest including rock arms even the drag cartel cams and of course the itb so we'll be ready to install yup let's go <laughs> First things first, here's a new page because the SRD Motorsports, the original one, I lost control as my personal Facebook got hacked, so I got lost control of it and I had to make an SRD Motorsports 2 because I haven't deleted the old one. On the new page here, we got a price list, even head porting, engine building, even cam degree, we got the prices there for the basic work. And we constantly post updates on what we're doing at the shop here, like the ITBs and all the good stuff. And also we constantly reply to the comments there so you guys gotta go there and here for those that doesn't have facebook i have instagram it's here it's also active both links will be in the description below and here we constantly do some posts there so yep i'll check you guys out on the page and instagram here's the block as we left it on the previous episode yes it's turning really good yep it's all ready right so we gotta drop in the head yep and here's the head all finished up we just gotta assemble the valves and the super tech valve tray and all the other good stuff yes it's all cleaned up and ready to be assembled yes sir yes sir all right so now let's go back to the block and let's check it on the engine stand here it is already on the bottom and it's fully complete and all done it's ready to be sealed up with the head secured properly yes and this one the next thing here we do this it's optional you don't have to follow it but we do this we lubricate the head studs with erp lube and hand tight it onto all the threads because the block is thoroughly clean so it has zero oil on the thread so we avoid you know mishaps and you avoid the squeaky sound when you're torquing it by doing this so we pre-lube it this way with hand tight and then we remove it now we get ready for the head gasket Okay, we do a very very thin coat of honda bond or three bond in this case on the oil drains here just super thin you know it doesn't have to be thick and plus you know it's optional you, you can do this or you can just avoid you know no you don't have to do this but we do this just to be sure all right like a ultra thin coat of sealant all right now we drop in the head gasket where is it let me get it here it is now we align it good and then we get the dowels there you go all right now we get the dowels place it in so that we can drop in the head a little bit later all right there you go okay now we gotta put the oil drains we gotta do a really really thin coat of three bond on the oil drains here and get it ready Okay, now let's go to the workbench forget the head and get the head here's the head is all fully assembled with oem valves and super tech valve train it's all good and on the members only we got the full details of what we did on the chamber work and of course the port finish even the valve job is all there so the members only we'll talk about that la a little later all right so here it is but first things first i need a favor from you guys hit the like button this way it's gonna show a lot more activity and the algorithm will pick it up and show it to a wider audience so hit the like button if you're enjoying this video that would be something that's really big for me i really appreciate that all right thank you guys so here yep, hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed this way you can check all the other videos you can binge watch on your own time because once you're subscribed you can always check it out some other day or even tomorrow so you guys can check all the build videos that we did here before and it will continue and of course for those hardcore enthusiasts you can check out join the membership only because we have all the good stuff here look at that right and we'll talk about that more later
Look at the underside. Here's the super tag. It's all good. Yep. We drop the head in onto the block. Yes. Okay, gotta carry this carefully so that we can drop it in on the head. Okay, wait, let me work on this. Let me just carry it. And here it is now. We're dropping it in carefully. Make sure everything is aligned well, including the dowel so, you know, it gets dropped in good. The dowel, are, of course, helps al us align it. Yes, now it's there. Okay, now we get the head stud. Okay, now we carefully drop it in. We don't lit literally drop it because, you know, if you drop it from a distance or from a height, it might ruin the initial thread. So we just drop it in carefully like that. And of course, let me get the socket extension and the socket itself and hand tight all of this so that it's all snug. So that it's ready for the first step of the torquing sequence. All right. We get it all snug here. Three more. Yep. Now last two. Okay. There. Okay, let me get the torque wrench now. Okay, here, the first step is 29 feet pounds torque. That's the first step, all right? We get it to click all of it, all right? Yeah, that's good. There you go. Now we can speed it up the rest for a bit, you know, just to make sure that it's not too boring. All right, so now all of it is 29 feet pounds torque. And then OEM calls for 90 degrees and then plus another 90 degrees when you're torquing it. So, okay, let's do that here. All right, let me get the socket, the power handle. Okay, this is 90 degrees. It's kind of easy because it's just the right angle, you know. Last two. And then one more. All right, it's kind of tiring. All right, the last step the last 90 degrees all right now it's all good this is all let me unclip the phone now let me show you oh yeah the engine is all sealed up it's all ready to rumble well not quite we still need the accessories and the rock arms oh but would you look at that the freshly rebuilt engine this is gonna give good good mouths so now let's head to the workbench here, I ordered this from RDJ, my friend. He's a tuner, he's a local tuner. We ordered it locally, but he also ordered it from the US through IPG Parts. And IPG Parts, if you guys in the in Europe or in the US need some parts, check out their shop because they're good guys. They, they, they sell all the good stuff and good parts. And he's, James Innes, the owner, has been active on Honda Tech with me way back. So yep, let's go back to the engine stand. Oh yeah. It's looking good, looking good, right? Oh yeah. I just love how, how the engines look on the engine stand when it's fully assembled, it's all clean and all good. So now let's have my colleague do the other stuff. Okay, here, let me turn the block first. So he can, he can complete the bottom end, like the oil pan and everything, including the splash guard, right? There you go. And the oil pickup and then the oil pump chain get it all tensioned and good yes now it's complete now the lost motion assemblies and now my colleague is actually cleaning the rocker arm spraying it wd-40 and you can see the hose on the right side a little there he's blow drying it with air so that's clean and good there you go it's all clean and good drops in everything including the drag cartel 4.0 cams Yes, looking good now. Oh yeah, let's switch the angle here. Here, okay, now we're gonna, my colleague is actually putting the OEM brand new chain. And then lastly, the tensioner down there at the bottom. All right. Just clean it up, make sure everything is good. We're gonna cover it. Make sure all the meeting surfaces are clean and good. Yes, now it's all closed up and good. Yep, switch here, the oil pan. Oh yeah, engine's finished. All right, all right. Now here, of course, if you remember, we mentioned about the members only. We also got a video. This is a regular public video of the K-Series Type R. 
Yes, this is a different head, but it's all the same work. And also, we got the RBB video of the head that we did. This one went to Hawaii to John. This is good stuff here. And of course, the members only, as mentioned earlier, we got a few good videos there, including the chamber work that we did on K20 here, we including the finished port work and the, uh, the valve job. We got the Dyna tuning video that's more extensive and more detailed, including we pulled timing, check the reading, check the made more power or added fuel and we ended up where we went to make more power we talked about it on the video there and of course we got the other good stuff there including the engine building stuff like this yes what the stuff to check and all rod, rod side play crank assembly and all the good stuff there and the engine builds yes and all the other good, good videos we have yes it's all over there and so now let's look at the finished engine. We we actually just bolted on the Toyota ITB just so you can see the engine, how it look, how good it looks. Oh yeah, that's gonna be ready to rumble. Oh yeah, look at those induction pieces. Yep, looking good, looking good. So now this engine is ready to be dropped in onto the FD Civic, and we're gonna do the startup, and of course, you know, all the good stuff. Oh man, this looks really, really good. I love this engine. Yep, so we'll have the next video on the end screen, but for now, the previous episode, you can click it here.